I can't. I don't even. I don't even know where where to begin on these intros anymore. Let's just let's just pull it together, down and let's just pull it right the fuck together. You know what we're pulling together is this hair, because <laughs> mm, got a headache from. Okay, let's just get into it. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, 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 uh. Today, we are going hard. I created this look based on the color olive. <laughs> so I hope that you enjoy the video. And before we get started, hit that like and subscribe down there at the bottom. It would mean the world to me. And yeah, become part of the fam, guys. If you want to see how I created all of this, all of this on my face, then just keep watching. You know when you're not having a good eyebrow day and your contacts rip, so you're like trying to do shit blind. That's where I am in my day. Okay. So I saw people doing this. I didn't really know what I wanted to do when I sat down to film. So I was like, you know what? I'll do an eye. I'll see if I like it. I mean, I don't know. I just feel like olive is kind of the color for the season. That being said, olive smoky eye. So I'm going to show you how I got this look. Sorry. Don't look at my eyebrows when I'm horrid. Okay, so I'm going in with the Dare to Create palette. And I am going to take this transition shade right here. I'm going to kind of keep it warm up in the crease. And I've primed my eyes with NARS concealer in the shade Creme Brulee. And then set it with my Laura, Translu my Laura Mercier translucent powder. Setting powder, Jesus, you know, what I always do. So yeah, anywho, I'm just gonna take this and I'm going to work it into my crease. So I'm going in with this top shade right here. It's just a really warm, chocolatey brown. I'm getting that on the tip of my blending brush. I'm taking that all the way down. And I'm kind of buffing it upwards because regardless of how I wanted it to come, this got a little bit high up here. <laughs> that was my fault. And it is this green right here. Sorry that my lights keep changing. I don't even know what's going on right now. I just got out of the shower. My hair's a mess. Just, I'm a mess. I'm a mess in general. Okay, okay so I'm just gonna take that green and it is the prettiest olive green of the life. Like, and it starts out really like light, but. Oh, it is. Okay, so I'm just working this all over the lid, just patting it down and getting it right up there close to my crease. brown shade right here which is just a darker brown and it's not so much on the red side it's like a true brown almost so I get that not a lot tap it off and then I'm just gonna go right above the green where the green and my transition shade meets I'm just gonna go right in there and this is gonna kind of help that really that green color 
blend seamlessly with the warmer tones that I put down first. Going from a dark color to a light color, you need those transitions. And I'm just gonna kind of, with the side of my brush, just take that out just a little bit because I do want to elongate it up. And with Smoky Eyes, it's all about blending, blending, blending. So I'm gonna go back in with this packer brush. Get up real close and personal, guys. And I'm gonna just make sure that where it's supposed to be green, it's not fading, it's not streaky at all. Because I want it to be seamless. Going back in with a bigger, fluffier brush and that same brown, that cat eye that we had. And just going over it one more time. Keeping it in the crease. We're gonna dip back into our transition shade. And we are just gonna go over the top of the brown that we just laid down. Cause like I said, we want it to be seamless, right? I'm gonna go into this little Maybelline The Nudes palette. Okay, I'm gonna go in with this black shade right here. So I'm gonna place this, this is where it gets messy, but it's totally fine because we're gonna clean it up. But I'm gonna pack that black onto this outer corner right here. And then with that blending brush, I'm gonna take this black and kind of just work it along the crease. I'm gonna take a clean blending brush, well, a kinda clean blending brush. And I'm just going to run that across the top right here. Okay, so time for the wing part. I'm going to do my wings off camera. And I'll be right back in two seconds. And I'll show you how I cleaned up the bottoms. And we'll move on to the face. Okay. So how I clean that up is taking a makeup remover wipe. I wrap it around my nail. Now when I had my little vampire nails going on where they were pointy, it was a lot easier. But you put it on your nail like this, and then you just take the corners and just carve it out. And I just feel like it's really easy to do that. And it cleans it up, and you look marvelous. So I am just going in with a big shot from Maybelline. Yep, Maybelline. This one just gives me a lot of volume. And how I cut these lashes, because they weren't very big and like fluffy. So how I cut them was I cut just the ends off and I just put the ends on my eyes so it gives it that elongated look since i have this wing i wanted to follow it i'm gonna put my eyelashes on and i'll be right back okay and that is with the eyelashes on like i said they are not really that full but we make it work okay so on to the face so i've cleansed moisturized i've put the new estee lauder night recovery oil on? I might be wrong. That might not be what it is. I'll link it down below. I went in with my Versali. Um, I let that soak into my skin while I do my eyes. I also primed my nose and cheeks with the Porefessional and my forehead and my chin with the Too Faced Peaches. Primed and peachy. I'm gonna do the Bye Bye Under Eye Elimination Full Coverage Anti-Aging Waterproof Concealer. <laughs> Try and say that five times fast. Before I go in with like my foundation, I'm going to conceal under my eyes really fast just because my under eyes are looking a little bit tired, okay? And just blend that 
into just my inner corners right there and kind of bring it out a little bit but just basically so when I put my foundation on and my concealer again I won't hopefully won't have any of these lines peeking through just mm. so I'm gonna go in with my matte and poreless from from Maybelline the fit me matte and poreless in classic ivory because mama is just not tan no more fellas not tan no more so I'm just gonna go in and I'm gonna go ahead and just dot my face all over and I'm going to mix a little bit of that clay stick just because that clay stick is extremely light and this, when it dries, it almost oxidizes, I feel, because for some reason it is a little bit too dark now. So I'm just going to go in with my clay stick. And hopefully this will kind of tone down the fit me. Yeah. don't we look hot and I'm going to go in with my Morphe M439 brush which is so fucking dirty but whatever and I'm just going to buff all of this together Rainforest of the Sea Marine Boost. And my Illuminating Setting Spray from Cover Effects. Just because the Fit Me foundation is matte and poreless it is going to be a little bit dry just because of that matte factor and so i want to put the illuminating and the marine boost on top of it and just kind of push it into the skin all right so now i'm going to go in i'm really liking the matte and poreless mixed with this age rewind concealer also from maybelline jesus so you should just be sponsored by maybelline right yeah because this this is good so i'm just gonna work that underneath my eyes i'm not gonna go full blown and get crazy with it a little bit on my chin a little in the middle of my forehead Mm. And just a stripe down my nose. So I'm going to spray my sponge with my Smashbox Water Primer, Photo Finish Water Primer. Just kind of dampen that up. And also, I like to do this because I don't know something about that primer that just makes everything just a lot better so just buffing that into the skin who's tired not us <laughs> okay so I am going to take my Laura Mercier powder and I'm going to just set right under my eyes and our chin basically just the middle the middle of your face <laughs> that's where I want it because I want my shine I just don't want it in the middle of my face 
So we're gonna let that sit on there for just a minute. And once again, we're gonna spray our primer water. And just kind of keep setting each layer. And kind of just pat that powder into your skin. Really set that shit. Okay. Now we're going to get our Sculpt and Glow from BH Cosmetics and we're going to take a mixture of both of these contour shades. Nothing too crazy. Mm -hmm. We're just going to take a fluffy brush and just begin to blend that out. Okay, now I'm going to take a smaller, like a flatter brush. And I'm going to take the more dense of the browns, the more darker, tap it off, and just slightly contour my nose. Okay, a little bit harsh. So we're gonna go in with our fluffy brush and tone it down a little bit. Snatched. So now with my fluffy brush, I'm going to go in with a little bit of my Palladio bronzer, a smidge, just to warm the look up. Now that we are warmed up, I'm going to go in and spray with a little bit of my Smashbox, spray a little bit, and I'm going to go in with my Master Chrome in the shade Molten Gold. Take it in there. And I am going to set this right on the high point of my cheeks. I mean, come on! <laughs> I love it so much. And the same thing on this side. Just gonna put it on the high point. Uh, my cheeks. Oh, like, can you even see the glow right now? That's <sighs> fantastic. On the tip of my nose, because you gotta have the tin nose. Up a little bit onto the bridge of the nose, do a little exclamation mark. And of course, the cupid bow. So we're just gonna finish up the bottom of the eyes. I'm going to go in with the same green that's on my eyes and I'm going to run that under the bottom of my lashes. I'm also going to pick up a little bit of the transition shade, not a whole lot, but enough to where I can smoke out this green right here. Yep, just like that. Now I'm going to go in with my Big Shot and I'm just going to coat the bottom lashes. 
just like that. You know what? Let's just go in with one of my all time faves One Wish from the Kylie Cosmetics line. <laughs> Can do this so let me go and get changed into not this and I'll be right back oh yeah it's winter and I'm wearing a tank top let's just let's just not talk about it okay it's olive I'm olive let's just have a moment okay let's just respect the olive okay uh, this is the final look and I hope that you all enjoyed watching. I hope that this brings you all the fall winter vibes. I hope you fucks with it hard. And if you do, then please like and subscribe. Y'all already know the drill. So hit those buttons down there. I'm part of the fam, guys. And yeah, I'll catch all of you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.